welcome to the channel. Welcome to um, a bit of a crazy kind of evening. Um, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. We are unboxing the nice list box here. We are doing it the nice way. Oh, I was going to say there's a picture, but there isn't really a picture. These are all little Christmas presents that we do as an advent unboxing. Some people have done them day by day. Some people have pre-recorded as if day by day. And some people have just gone and opened the box because. Do whatever you want if you're getting this. Now, QR codes. Um, did I say about subscribing? If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it's a little bit crazy in this neck of the woods. Okay, yesterday was the colour. And no spoilers really for that because the colours are the colours. And today is the 6th, but we are actually in time to see what is going to come out on the 6th. Your big head is in my way, miss. <laughs> so day five, the thread pack for pattern one. The thread was chosen by the designer for our first kitted project, which we knew by Gentle Arts and Weeks Dye Works. Now, whether or not this is all that we need, we're about to find out in just a second. So let us go to the sixth and spoilers. So I'm actually not gonna peek just yet. Oi. Sophie has day six. She has learned her lesson in peeking in advance. Yes, you can open it. Okay, now I'm gonna tear this. She's gonna get into hers back in a second. What have you got? Oh, it's not what she was expecting. Oh, she got some jelly bellies. Jelly bellies. And she's got something a little bit strange. Ooh, what is that? So shiny. <laughs> what are they? Diamonds. Are they sticky Diamond. diamonds? Mm -hmm. Yep. Is there anything else in the box? Nope. Jelly bellies and sticky diamonds. After she was so disappointed with the chocolates yesterday, she came back and she got them. So, okay. Ooh, this is a Jan Hicks Creates. Now, Jan has done a couple of pieces for us in um, the Black Needle Society. I think I know I'm certainly familiar with her work. This is gorgeous. Sorry, I'm just looking at it going, oh, it's so pretty. And yes, it includes the colors we have. Oh my goodness. Are we going to get a finishing kit as well? Because look, how gorgeous is that? That will be stunning finished with the little scissor pocket and everything else. But I love that little scene. It's just awesome. So it's different. Um, massive star. And then three really, really tall Christmas trees. I love them this much. I love them tomorrow. Well, not if you're going to open them and eat them now. So this is calling for the Morris Blue, the Grapevine, the Blue Bonnet, the Blue Suede, and the Gentle Arts Pine. So this will use everything here that we got yesterday. So if you want to get your stitch on, this is a 70 by 90. Um... And on 32 count, it's going to end up as 4.4 by 5.6 inches, which is nice, small, and so four, oh my goodness, four by six. You're kind of looking at what you can see of the fabric there, okay? You're talking, no, it's wet. You're talking pretty small. Okay, and that is really, really doable in the month for um, a partial stitch. Even if you're a slower stitcher, it's not going to take you a huge amount of time. Uh, the pattern itself is inside this, which I'm not going to show because, you know, copyright and all that kind of jazz. But I just wanted to get an idea. Uh, okay, so it's on a single page. A single A4 page. Now, if you use Pattern Keeper, 
you can take a photograph, you can scan it, or you can upload it into Pattern Keeper and you can mark it. Even if it's just a case of you putting it into Pattern Keeper and just being able to mark the squares that you've actually done, you line up the grid and you do all that kind of jazz. If you're used to working online, that is one way to do it. The other way would be to scan it on a photocopier because then at least you know that it's square rather than a photograph which is slightly warped and twisted. Did you get earwax? What earwax? <laughs> Apparently there's some nice flavours and there's some yucky flavours. Oh, okay. But why earwax? Earwax? Well, because it's a flavour. Well, it's definitely a flavour in Hogwarts. Disappointing? Yeah. Because Dumbledore got one. Who's that? Dumbledore. Who's, who's Dumbledore? She obviously needs to be... <laughs> initiated into <laughs> the fold <laughs> um right she, she's gonna get she's gonna get a sugar rush now okay um no not right now today has been <laughs> like a roller coaster um the highs were high and the lows were the lows were pretty bad, um, but I'm still kicking, I'm still here, and yes, um, that's about all I can probably say. Um, now, uh, I have been stitching a little bit more of the Christmas project for her nibs, and um, I've got the O's done, and I'm onto the P's. I think I've got one P done. Yes, you can use that. Yes, so the stitching, I'm I'm still cracking on with a little bit um, and we'll get there slowly but surely. Tomorrow is a slightly unusual gift. It's squishy, but it's not fabric. Um, I think I have a kind of a sneaky idea what it might be. Um, but we'll wait and see. So spoilers. Um, what else? If you're interested in watching any other um, floss tube around the Christmas period, put a search word in Flossmas. If you're not already used to searching for Flossmas or searching for videos and new creators, um, that is definitely a way that you can follow some new people. I know Rachel is certainly doing it and there's a whole heap of us reps doing it. So there's Chloe, there's Liz, there's Cece. Um, there's... Um, and Linux stitches and who else is out there? Um, I can't even think now. So there's a whole bunch of us. So please look up Flossmas. Check out any um, hashtags on Instagram. Hopefully if people are putting up anything on Instagram, which I haven't been just yet. Um, if you're going to be seeing them on Instagram, they're hopefully hidden behind the first picture, which is not a spoiler. And then you'll get spoilers if you scroll across. Um, yeah, so go and do that. Oh, yes. Today, if you're a Black Needle Society fan or a Gilmore Girls fan, the Winter in Stars Hollow pattern has been dropped, or sorry, the picture has been released. The, the spoilers have been released. So Katie and Laura were actually on live this morning or last night or anyway today it's been and gone and um, they were on live and they presented the four all together framed and oh my god it looks incredible i cannot wait there is the speciality floss that they absolutely recommend that we get and it's a violet vines or something it's a purple behind the snowflake and um the rest of it you may or may not want to have as color conversions i think i've got all my speciality flosses for it so it's like I used the classic color works or the week's dye works or whatever that was called for rather than DMC but I think there is somebody else so Laura's done the conversion with the sorry not the conversion Laura has done the original colors um in the call for week's dye works and and that kind of thing um and I think somebody else might be doing a DMC so there might be an alternate that you can go and have a look at shortly 
but I'm not sure where that's at. Gosh, she's making a lot of noise. Mm. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, um, if you've already subscribed to the Winter in Stars Hollow, and if you haven't, and you're keen to get on board after it's all over, you can certainly do that. The patterns will be released after, but I'm not sure how long after. Um, possibly six months or further. But the theme after Gilmore Girls is going to be Downton Abbey. So if you enjoy all things, I was going to say Victorian. I'm not sure if Downton Abbey is Victorian or Regency um, or Georgian even. Anyway, if you're interested in Downton Abbey and you want to binge watch Downton again and again and again, then yeah, that might be something to keep in mind for 2025. Um, what else? Just a reminder, Frogwarts, I think, is usually coming up for sale soonish. Jump on that if you're a Frogwarts fan. Um, if you've already been to a Frogwarts, we'll get, I think, a 24 hour lead on that being released. Uh, they're the big, big retreats next year. Um, the big, big, there's way more than that. There's expos and all kinds of things. And there's the market and there's all sorts. Um, yeah, it's going to be, um, hopefully a good year next year for stitching. Um, I, I was going to say staking your claim, but I think I need to, um, stake my tent pegs now anyone who's got any bible reading i suppose behind them they might understand that term um but um if you're not entirely sure it's in ooh, now i'm going to test my brain here it's, it's along with the story of jabez and i think that's no gone gone blank it's an old story it's an old testament story um but they talk about Staking out your tent pegs and enlarging your territory. And this, I think this year has been all about maybe standing my ground and just not collapsing into a heap. And next year might be actually about building and holding my territory, maybe. Um, we'll see. Um, those other allegories maybe a little bit off for some of you um i am getting into some daily writing which i'm loving actually um it's not creative writing it is very much kind of i don't know eventually it might be building a picture i've got a notebook that's like yay big and every day it's got a prompt with a question so it's some of it is kind of going somewhere and one day you might get asked one question and then the other day you might get asked like the opposite. So it's kind of like, what's your highest point? What's your lowest point? You know, one day after another. But other times it's just like, um, what's your what's your worst nightmare? What's your biggest dream? Or what's your favorite ice cream? You know, it's all kinds of topics. So it's it's all over the place. And I am loving being able to sit down and do that. And I'm also following somebody called the Crappy Childhood Fairy. Um, Anna Runkle and she's got a thing called the daily practice and the daily practice with her is you write particular things and then you get to destroy those particular things because they're not for anyone else to read and while I'm kind of going oh yeah but maybe it would be good to look back on but in reality it's all about getting it out of your head through your hand into the paper or onto the paper and then get rid of it destroy it so I am actually loving that and then she follows up on the daily practice of the writing the destroying with a meditation so you actually help ground yourself as well so haven't quite got to the meditation and the quieting quietening the spirit or the soul even um, and stopping the brain from doing a million miles an hour um, as it does I need a governor on the highway it's like an autobahn at the moment. It's just like unlimited flying along. And I've never been on an autobahn actually in Germany. 
that would be slightly scary. Mind you, I'd love to be able to drive at whatever speed I, I chose because it's safe. And that's what they do in Germany on the Autobahns. You can actually drive at whatever speed you like. I don't know if there's a minimum, um, but there's no speed limit. It's, this is as fast as your car can go, basically. So you can get some pretty insane speeds if you've got the right car. I don't, but I do have a nice car. Um, that is a dream to just kind of put the foot down and just kind of go, okay, I'm driving. Although Tasmania at the moment is just full of roadworks. <laughs> so I can't really get that far on the fast roads. They are not going to be finished for another year and a half. So it's going to be a while before I get to put the foot down. Okay, I'm going to go. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, hopefully it's a little bit better. It's just one step at a time. Um, and if I can't do the step, then I'm just going to try and stand and rest and call in reinforcements and say, help. So yeah, day by day. And, um, yeah, we'll get there. I'll get there. She'll get there. We'll all get there. And um, the hoppers are all outside playing or eating. And I've put some shade over them so they can actually have more space in the sunshine. We have a stinking hot week all week. Stinking hot. It's 24 degrees. Now, that I don't know what that converts to Fahrenheit. Sorry. Don't know. Ask Google. You didn't switch on. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. <laughs>